Question 63. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. The soil in the tropical rainforest is rich in nutrients. Statement 2. The high temperature and moisture of tropical rainforest cause dead organic matter in the soil to decompose quickly. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? So, four standard options are given. Both statement 1 and 2 are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation. Both statement, one, both statement 1 and statement 2 are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect. Statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. So, these are the four standard options. So, let's uh, again this is a basic concept from geography. I, I haven't given any sources but you can easily pick this up from any standard geography textbooks. So, the answer would be the soil in tropical rainforest is rich in nutrient is false. Uh, and statement 2, the high temperature and moisture of tropical rainforest cause dead organic matter in the soil to decompose quickly is true. So, the nutrient cycle in the tropical rainforest is very fast and uh, whenever when a plant or animal uh, die and reach the soil, they decompose very fast and all those uh, since due to the presence of humid moisture, uh, humid climate and uh, the um, bacteria is present, it is decomposed very fast and all these nutrients are taken up by the living organisms also very fast. So, it doesn't get time to accumulate in the soil and there is also heavy leaching also. So, uh, the, the point the soil in tropical rainforest is rich in nutrient is false. So, one could ask why then there is heavy growth of plant organism. If you think that since um, tropical rainforest have heavy lush growth of plants, uh, the soil must be very rich in nutrients. That is wrong. That is actually a little bit counterintuitive. But what happens is this. Uh, the soil does not, uh, soil itself does not have very rich nutrient, uh, nutrients. But um, the dead plants and other organisms um, provide constant supply of nutrients to the growing plants so not from the so so not from soil but a layer of from from a top layer one could say so that is the reason why probably this this is kind of a tricky question for people who haven't gone through these concepts so yeah again another reason why you should shouldn't skip uh, basic concepts of geography and um, different uh, as I mentioned as I have mentioned before from geography different climate conditions um, different vegetations uh, different uh, why different veg different vegetations and different types of soils in India and properties of those soils in India different crops crops, carif rabi crops and different other crops found in different parts of India, other uh, crop cycle. All these are very important as far as geography is concerned. I am not, I'm, I didn't, uh, this is not an exhaustive list, but any standard, pick up any standard textbooks and for, uh, even NCRT or ICC textbooks have a lot of this information and going through this will uh, give you a good cl clarity on the basic concepts. So yeah, that is question 63. Moving on to the next question.